traders welcome back to simply forex hope you had a nice weekend today is monday the 13th of november and as always we're going to look back at friday's trades we're going to look at today's potential trades and we're going to look at the important news for today as well let's do this so let's start with uh friday's trade that i took okay and it was us dollar against the canadian dollar okay and the idea was to short this pair why were we looking to short it? Well, you can see price was building up and then bang, it broke down. It broke out of this channel. It also broke these last lows here. So we are in a downtrend, okay? Um, and then price had retraced to this nice horizontal resistance and this diagonal resistance. So this was a nice area to look for sales, guys, all right? And as you can see, you know, price has popped up and then come crashing back down and get, get my teeth in down again, all right? So, uh, you know, I like this trade even more today, yeah? And I this will be a trade idea as well again, guys, all right? But let's see how I traded this because I actually ended up getting hedged, okay? So if we drop down to the H4, well, it was more of a H1 play. Let's, let's drop down to the H1. And as you can see, guys, yeah, I pinpointed this gray zone because if you follow h1 structure once we got a break of these lows that was a break in h1 structure for me and we got that break okay we got the break with this candle okay um i actually got in um on an m15 break okay so we entered here guys and we put our stop up here okay um and the idea was obviously to come lower Okay, but as you can see, price came up, all right, and it wasn't until here that it took my, it, not a stop loss, but took my hedge, all right? Maybe my hedge was a little bit tight, a little bit aggressive, but it's okay. And then we saw this candle, so I closed my hedge for a bit of a, uh, a small loss and then put a new hedge above here. And then as you can see, price come up again, and then we got this large candle guys all right coming off of a gray zone so once i saw this again guys close this hedge here this new buy hedge in here yeah close this and then put a new buy hedge up here okay took a little bit of profit on this one which cancelled out the loss that i took on this one in here and then as you can see price come crashing down guys and this is where i am currently i'm still in this trade um and you know we're still looking to take this lower guys all right and like i say it'll be a trade idea for today um and if you want to know how i traded it and my entry etc then come check out the vip discord channel guys this is where i put all my trades um and this is where we are currently. And as you can see, guys, as soon as it hit this gray zone up here, it has come crashing down, even breaking these last H1 lows here. Um, and we'll discuss this for trade ideas for today as well. But um, that's how I traded it, guys, and I'm still in this trade. Um, so that was US dollar, Canadian dollar. Um, and, and yeah, and that just goes to show the beauty of using a hedge instead of a stop loss, guys. You know, we were wrong here. Okay, no problem. Price comes against us. We get another setup. We close the hedge, put a hedge above here, you know, and then it eventually comes down. Because what gives us the confidence to do that is the day chart. You know, this day chart is still in a downtrend. Yeah, nothing's changed. Yeah, will it react here? Will it react here? You know, the, the the trade idea is the same. It's to sell this pair. But where we get in may not always be the best location to get in. Maybe we need another, you know, buy at the cherry. Okay, and that's how hedging works. If you'd like to know more, I've got a lot of tutorials on this in the VIP Discord channel. Um, the next trade from Friday was this. It was New Zealand dollar against the Japanese yen. OK, and basically, guys, we were seeing this. This is our weekly resistance level up here. And this is these daily lows down here. So price, as you can see, is in a bit of a range. OK, and the idea is to potentially come back down to here. Um, you know, guys, if I zoom in at the top of that range, yeah, we got a nice bearish candle. OK, um, and what we were looking for was a breakdown of this level. 
Okay, this level through here, guys, what we really wanted to see was a break, retest, and come down. And as you can see, that never happened. So no trade on New Zealand dollar Japanese yet. Um, and those were the only two trades from Friday. Uh, let's take a look at today's trades now. Guys, if you enjoyed Friday's analysis, maybe you took some of the trades and you would like to receive my trade ideas every day, then come join the channel, guys. Yeah, Subscribe to the channel right now. Uh, smash the notification button so you receive an alert every time we post a vid. And if everyone could please smash the like button, guys. It really helps support the channel and the vid. Thank you very much. Um, so trades for Monday the 13th of November, guys. Before we get started, let me just mention a few things that our channel does. You might be interested. So first of all, guys, we've got the free Discord channel. It is free. So come join it. We've got traders in there sharing knowledge, ideas. We've got indicators, books, useful links, guys. Loads of cool things. Uh, come join it. The link is in the video description, guys. Also, we have the VIP Discord channel. OK, so um, you do have to pay for this, guys, but I give you access to me as in you can ask me questions if you need help with anything. I give you my trade ideas as and when they happen. All right. Uh, we have two other expert traders sharing their trade ideas. I give you exclusive content every single week. There's numerous tutorials. Um, I give you uh, access to a performance coach as well. And we're test running uh, a new strategy, guys. So, so much value in the video. IP Discord. Come check it out. The link is in the video description. Uh, next, guys, if you would like to be coached one-on-one, -on -one, um, then drop us an email and I'll send you the details of the mentorship program where you can learn how to trade like myself and how to read the charts. Um, the email to do so is in the video description. Also, guys, if you watch the live stream and the uh, analysis vid every day, then why not show your support, guys? You can become a Simply Forex YouTube member, um, and we've got supporter and gold. And each tier has many perks, guys. All right, so check it out. Um, everything I just spoke about is in the VIP. At, everything I, I just spoke about is in the video description. Also, guys, don't forget live stream today, 7 a.m. New York EST time. Get your questions ready. I'll be ready for you. Um, right. Trades for Monday. As you can see, guys, we are looking at the dollar index. Why are we looking at the dollar index? Because we want to know what to do with the dollar. And if you look at this big bearish weekly candle, followed by this candle, you know, sellers are still in control, guys. All right. If we go to the day chart as well. Yeah, you know, we are in a downtrend. You can see we was in this range with the dollar index and, you know, potentially price can come down to at least here. All right. And I wanted to show you that, guys, because some U.S. dollar pairs like Aussie dollar and New Zealand U.S. dollar, you know, we're seeing U.S. dollar strength. But with US dollar, Canadian dollar, Euro, US dollar, pound, US dollar, we're seeing US dollar weakness. So there is some conflicting information with the US dollar. So I go to the dollar index, which is this. And that's this is still telling me that we can sell, uh, that there's going to be dollar weakness, all right, because of the chart structure. So bearing that in mind, guys, my first trade idea for today is US dollar against the Canadian dollar. Um, and I know, guys, this was a trade idea from Friday, and it's still a trade idea for, uh, idea for today. So why is it a good trade? Well, again, you know, price broke out of this range. Yeah, broke in these lows as well. So we've got lower lows. And now price has retraced all the way up, even to this gray zone. OK, and we've got this nice bearish candle. OK, so we've got a nice bearish candle that not only reacted at this gray zone, but also closed back below this channel. All right. So we like this trade. If we drop down to the H4 now. Yeah, I mean, even on the H4, guys, you can see structure has broken down. Yeah, which is what we like to see. Once this low here is broken, H4 is in a downtrend. And if we also look at the H1, guys. Yeah, this is also in a downtrend because it's broken this low. Yeah, with this candle here. So what are we looking for, guys? Well, we're looking for a, a potential uh, retrace. So price may retrace just into this gray zone. 
Yeah. And the moving average 20 comes round and we get a bullish reaction and we can start selling down to here, if not further. OK, or price comes all the way back up to this gray zone here where you can see price has reacted in here before and we get a bearish reaction and then we can start coming lower as well, guys. All right. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, you know, out of all the US dollar pairs, this is the one that I like. So that's my first trade idea for today. I did also like pound US dollar. OK, but well, no buts. I also like pound US dollar as well. But I still prefer US dollar, Canadian dollar. OK, but you can see, you know, we've had a bit of a bullish candle, but it wasn't as bullish as the Canadian, uh, the US Canadian dollar candle. But I still like pound US dollar for potentially doing this. OK, Um what else are we looking at, guys? So we are also looking at Canadian dollar, Swiss franc. Um, where are you? Here you are. So this, what what I like about this, guys, is this weekly, this weekly candle. So you can see on Canadian dollar, Swiss franc, we were in this range. We're not were, we are. We're in this range. Okay. Price has just been doing this. Okay. So potentially it can come back to the top of the range. And if you zoom in, guys, we've had this really nice bullish weekly candle followed by a candle with a nice wick. All right. So we're going to potentially take price back up to this area of uh, resistance. If we go to the day chart now. And again, we was having a big discussion in the VIP discord about this, guys. You know, is this in an uptrend? Because you could argue this, guys, you know, this. Yeah, and then back, and then you could argue this. Yeah, and therefore this has broken this low. Okay, so that would you know indicate a downtrend, you know, or you know it could be this that you're seeing. Okay, and then we're still in an uptrend. Either way, I like it because of that weekly rejection. This is a weekly level where it's rejected and. We're starting to see some bullish candles as well. Yeah, bullish. And look at this. That is a rejection wick of this price. Okay, so I think we can take price back up to here. Um, if we drop down to the H4 now. Um, okay, let's drop down to the H1. Because this will be more of a H1 play. Because we've had a H1 structure break as well. So what are we seeing here, guys? So we were seeing, you know, H1 in an uptrend and then bang, it broke down, but never broke this low. This low held, it broke back up, breaking this high. At this point, we're in a H1 uptrend, okay? It could retrace to here. We like this level. What was once resistance becomes support, yeah? So if we get a bullish reaction out of here, we can start buying this pair. Or it might want to come back down and test these lows here. And again, we just want a bullish reaction, and then we can start buying this pair. If it starts breaking this low, I'm not interested. If it breaks this low and comes down here, not interested. Because this will be a H1 and a H4, you know, break of lows. Okay? Um, so that's what we want to see, guys. Canadian dollar Swiss franc, we're going to buy this pair. And those are my two trade ideas for today. I also was keeping an eye on Aussie dollar Swiss franc because if we look at the day chart, again, we're at a really nice level. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Moving average 20, this last high, right? A nice support level. So this could also be a trade idea for today as well Aussie dollar Swiss franc. Um, but my two trades are US dollar, Canadian dollar sell and uh, Canadian dollar Swiss franc buy so we're looking at a bit of canadian strength guys all right um and yeah if you've enjoyed my trade ideas then please subscribe to the channel right now guys and also smash the like button it really helps support the vid don't forget all the cool things we do we've got the free discord we've got the vip discord we have got the uh mentorship program we've got the simply forex youtube membership as well all this information is in the video description Right, let's check out the news for today now. Oh, news for Monday the 13th of November, guys. Um, the only 
important piece of news really guys is this at 3 30 london gmt uh we've got crude oil inventories guys so this could affect the us dollar canadian dollar and obviously oil as well guys and if you are an oil trader this will also be important 12 o'clock london gmt we've got the o opec monthly report guys all right so um lots of oil news really but nothing else uh for us to worry about guys all right so you're pretty free to trade today Guys, if you've enjoyed the vid, please subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to join us for the live stream, 7 a.m. New York EST time. Get your questions ready, and I'll see you then, guys. See you later.